<sighs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what is good? What is good? What is good? Of course, you know who I be. Good Doc, Doc the Mike TV, back again, once again. I know for a fact this one has potential to be the biggest instant classic in the Good Docs arsenal, I promise you. So if this is your first time to a Good Docs video or to the channel, subscribe, notify, do all the good things to make yourself well versed in the Good Docs content. Everything you need to know about me shall be listed in the link in the description area below. I'm doing this video because I owe you this video. I said I was going to do this video, so I'm going to do this video. I believe that I'm going to miss a lot of shit. I believe that I cannot give you all of the good docs trade secrets. Again, I got to have something in my arsenal to set me apart from the rest. But today, <laughs> the good doc is going to attempt to teach you guys how to train a Filipina to be submissive or to be what it is that you need her to be. Now, before I begin, guys, I want you to understand I'm not going to teach you how to be manipulative. Ladies, I don't want this to come off as if I'm saying that y'all are dogs or something and, oh, this is how you train them. It's not what I'm going for. But today, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to get a look inside of the Good Doc's mind as much as I'm willing to reveal in order to tell you guys how I believe you can get a Filipina to eat out of your hand, not literally, but figuratively, and actually get them in one accord and get them on the page with you, all right? I promised this video, so I'm going to give you this video, okay? Now, I told you guys before in the beginning about the food. If you guys remember, all Filipinas like to eat. Feed them. Get them comfortable with you. Good conversation. Get them to laugh. Once you get them to laugh, once you get them comfortable around you, things like that will suddenly start to become a little bit easier, okay? And if there's one thing that I can tell you right now that will be your biggest friend and enemy is this right here this right here this is this is the point of attack all right if you're trying to train a filipina or any capacity this is where it starts you got to get inside that mind bro you have got to get inside that mind all right because you have to understand filipinas are naturally skeptical of foreigners all right, you got to understand, you're not the local guy. Hell, half the time, they're naturally skeptical of the local guy. And if there's one thing that you're going to have to combat as far as the challenges in reference to getting a Filipino on one accord with you, you're going to have to convince her that she is the one for you. You're going to have to convince her that she is the only one that you're thinking about. You're going to have to convince her that she is the only one that is the utmost important in your life. And it's going to be hard because she's always going to ask one of very few questions. Why do you want to be with me? Why did you choose me? There are so many other Filipinas that you could be with. Why do you want to be with me? These are the questions that I think you're naturally going to have to have an answer for. That answer needs to be scripted, but it can't come off as if it's scripted. You need to be prepared for these questions. All right. I can tell you what I would say, but in a nutshell, you just have to find a way to convince them that. There is nobody else that you're even worried about other than her. Nobody else means anything more to you than she does. All right. Because you got to get them comfortable. You have to ease that nervousness, ease the idea that some other girl could potentially take her place. Because if you want to get inside here, guys, you've got to make them feel as if she is literally the only girl that is on your mind. I pray that she is the only girl on your mind, but you got to convince her that she is the only girl you're thinking about the only girl that means anything to you so how do you get inside her mind or how do you train them see it always starts with something simple all right if you guys are dating if you're in a relationship of any kind or anything like that gotta start making requests right gotta start making requests but the request can only come if she's comfortable with you if you've made her laugh if you've made her smile and she's comfortable being around you and she's over the fact that you're a foreigner granted she probably loves the fact that you're a foreigner but she has to get over the nervousness of the fact of her dating a foreigner again making her smile making her feel comfortable constant reiteration about the idea that she's the only one all right she has to know that she's the only one that has that spot and that spot can't be taken by anybody else. You need to convince her of that. All right. She needs to know. She needs to know. She needs to know. Now, is that always going to be 100% true? 
Yes, until she fucks up. But again, you got to make sure she understands. She's the only one. She's the only one. She's the only one. Got to, because you've got to ease her conscious on that. But then once you get her comfortable with the relationship and you guys are starting to kind of figure yourselves out, next thing is you got to start making requests. Now, the requests are light requests. Let's start off with something simple. Um, you know, babe, I'm hungry. You make me a sandwich real quick. I appreciate it. You know, make me a sandwich. Just something random. It doesn't even have to be a sandwich. Just, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking about right now. I'm food. I'm hungry. Uh, baby girl, you know, you make me a sandwich. It's likely she'll go in the kitchen. She'll ask you what you want on a sandwich or what kind of sandwich you want. And if she doesn't ask or you tell her, you know, baby, can you make me a bologna sandwich or a chicken sandwich? Just put a little mustard on there for me. Whatever. Small request, right? Small request, small request. And most times, if she's comfortable in a relationship, guys, man, she will jump up out of that goddamn chair and she will run to that kitchen and make that sandwich for you and she will be happy to do so. Not because of any other reason other than she's happy to be able to do something for her man, a.k.a. her forager man, right? So, the little request, guys. You know, baby, can you take care of this for me? Baby, go, can you run and do that for me real quick? I said, I got to go get some load, love. Can you, get my, can you go grab some load for me? Or I left something in the room. Can you go grab my phone out the room or something? Small request, right? Small request. Seeing how willing she is to go out there and do these things for you. Now, she's like, why don't you go do it yourself? <laughs> red flag. All right, likely you're not going to get that. But if you get that, red flag. If she's going to make the request for you to go do it yourself, bad, bad, bad. If she's going to, like, take her time to go do it, like, she going to, like, for example... If you catch her in the middle of a text message, right? Like, let's say, for example, she's playing on her phone. She's playing a game on her phone. She's fucking scrolling through her Facebook feed or doing something like that, right? And you ask her to go do something, make the sandwich or whatever. If she ain't moving, that's a problem. That's a big problem. That's a red flag. If she tells you to go do it yourself, that's an even bigger problem, okay? So there's going to be small things that you're going to have to sit there and take note of. Okay, I asked for a sandwich. It took her ass an hour and a half for me to get my damn sandwich. I asked for that shit a long time ago, and now she's getting this. Red flag, okay? Um, and other shit, right? So if you want to be able to train them, you have to get into a... You have to be somewhat repetitive, right? Asking for shit all the time. You know, because she's got to get into understanding what you are all about and your needs. She has to understand your needs. It ain't going to always just be sexual, guys. If I want you to go, if I want a sandwich because I'm hungry, love, don't leave me hungry. You understand? So she's going to run and go do that sandwich for you. She should. If she doesn't, that's a problem. All right. Another small request you can make. Um, Like I said, telling her to go get something for you real quick. Or, babe, can you run to the store real quick or the sorry, sorry store? Grab an egg or something for me real quick. You know, I want to cook something or I want to go do something. Or I'm hungry. Can you go do this for me? Blah, blah, blah. You know, small request. And that'll tell, that'll train her like, okay, my baby needs this. I'm going to go do this for my baby. That's what it's going to be about. Then, once you start doing small requests and you start to see she's falling in line and everything is in accord and you say your thank yous and tell her how much, you know, you adore her and shit like that, because that's what needs to happen. That's that that's that sprinkle that you need to add into it. Every time she does something for you, you got to say thank you. You got to say thank you. Show that you appreciate the fact that she's doing these things for you and she will start to want to do more shit for you, Okay. Think about that. The more small little incremental requests that you make. All right. When she comes back, say, thank you, babe. I appreciate you. I love you. Mwah. Kiss her. Give a kiss. Some shit. Make sure she's like, oh, my baby appreciates me. Oh, shit. He appreciates that I do this for him. He appreciates that I'm doing that for him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now nah, I can't wait for him to ask me to do something again so that I could do it. And eventually what's going to end up happening, guys, is if you do this enough times, it'll start to become a habit for her. You understand? Training the mind starts to become a habit. The incremental request, again, the request can be a multitude of different things, but like I said, the sandwich was just one of them. Once you start to make those requests often, not every day, every hour, or every second or whatever, but once you start making these requests, it'll start to become a habit for her. And it'll start to come to the point where you don't even have to ask anymore. She's going to ask you Oh, do you want this, babe? Are you hungry? You want me to make you a sandwich? Do you want me to do this? Do you want me to do that? That's where you want. That's where you're trying to get yourself to, to the training mode. That's what you're trying to graduate to. That's where you're trying to get to in life. When it stops becoming uh, a request and it starts becoming her own damn habit. It's not going to be about what you're asking anymore. It's going to be about what she's asking you. Because she already knows in advance, maybe my baby wants this. Maybe my baby needs this. Maybe I should ask him if he needs this. Or maybe I should ask him if he wants that. Training the mind, ladies and gentlemen. Training the mind. And 
always end with thank you, always end with appreciation. She loves being appreciated. She's going to eat that shit the fuck up. How much you love her, how much you treat her, how much, how much she means to you. Like, damn, baby, I appreciate everything you do for me. Like, you know, that's good looking, love. I appreciate you. Come here and give me a kiss, girl. Mwah, I love you, you know. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> when I tell you it works, it works. But it's all about the repetition until it becomes habit. Everything that you do is going to be repetitious until it becomes habit. Repetition until habit. Repetition until habit. Repetition until habit. All right, because you got to graduate to it becoming a habit. I'll, be, I'll, leave, I'll tell you this example. My stepmom to my dad... Oh my God, that's where I learned a lot of my game. Shout out to my father, one of the OGs of this game. My, that's that's my, I'm his biggest fan. That's my OG, bro. That's my idol, and my brother too, of course. Um, but my dad, with the relationship that I see that he has with my stepmom, my stepmom ain't got to ass shit. She already knows. Like <laughs> first thing in the morning, my dad is very routine. He's got to have his coffee in the morning. Got to have his coffee in this morning. Got to have his coffee in the morning. Before he goes to bed, got to have his tea. He likes warm tea. And it's fucking repetitive. It comes without even asking. You understand? So that's where you need to get to. My, de my, my stepmom come home, she's cooking something. She may ask what he wants, just so that he's not eating the same thing all the time. But it just depends. Every time she comes home, once she comes home from, her, from work, if she's working that day, she'll ask him what he wants. Right on it. No doubt. She's worked a long day, her long shift, wherever, at the, uh, where she's working at. She comes home, asks my dad what, she, what he needs, what he wants, make sure he's taken care of. Bam, food on the table. She'll make a food. She'll make a dish for herself because she doesn't really eat the same foods that we eat. You know, she of course, she's big on the Filipino food, of course. So she's not really eating the hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff like that or pasta or whatever she decides to cook. That's usually for my dad or if I'm there, it's going to be for us. And she'll, you know, she'll make her own Philippine dishes, right? So she'll take care of my dad and, and me if I'm there. She'll make sure there's food for us. She'll eat for herself. She'll make sure my dad has his tea. They go to bed. Same routine in the morning again. So it's gotten to the point where nothing needs to be asked for anymore. My dad can wake up and know that his coffee is going to be on the table. If my stepmom happens to work early, he knows that when he wakes up, that coffee is going to be made. It's going to be in the microwave if it needs to be reheated, depending on how late he decides to sleep in. Most of the time, he doesn't sleep in late. And the food's going to be ready. Food's going to be ready. And that's where a lot of guys are trying to get in life. Once you've accomplished that, I do believe that everything else will likely become routine after that. So once you graduate from request, once you get to habits, then and only then can you get to routine. You know what I'm saying? So request, little shit in the beginning. She'll start to understand what you like, what you dislike, the types of foods you're willing to eat, types of stuff you don't want to eat. You know, you'll just make sure that it's known. Like if she makes a Philippine dish and it doesn't really sit well with you, like for me, I cannot under any circumstances eat adobo pusit. <laughs> A lot of people thought I may have said punan, but pusit, P-U-S-I-T, which is uh, squid, adobo squid. Can't eat it. My girl knows I, I don't like it. I might eat calamari, but I don't like adobo pusit. So my girl will never cook for me adobo pusit, <laughs> you know? So again, she's got to know what you like and what you dislike. Once she's able to go through the motions, go through the request that you'll make for her and reference the foods to cook or whatever it may be. Then it graduates to habit. Okay, I know my man like this. He like this. He like this. He ain't going to eat this. He not going to touch that. But he'll fuck with this. All right? She'll know that. Then it becomes routine. All right? And once you guys have lived together, if that's where it's trending towards, once you guys have lived together and you guys have been around each other long enough, all of a sudden, the habit comes in where it's not even something she asked for. She just knows she needs to do it. You know? And then, like I said, show the appreciation, show them you love them. And then, and only then, and only then, once they're comfortable, you know, they know that you're going to treat them right. You treat them right. You do right by them. And I say this, I say this, I say this. Only then can you graduate to things that you like to do in the bedroom all right once she's well aware of what you like and dislike and she knows that you appreciate her and things like that only then can you graduate to the idea of making certain bedroom requests you understand she's got to be comfortable that's where it starts if she's not comfortable she won't do it if she doesn't know that you appreciate her she's not gonna do it if she doesn't feel that you appreciate her she ain't gonna do shit for you 
It's not going to happen, gentlemen. It is not under any circumstances going to happen. All right? There's going to be a lot of apprehension. The last thing you want is apprehension in your relationship. You don't want no, um, you don't want, um, how can I say this? You don't want any, not back talk, but you don't want any like nervousness in it. You want her to know, look, baby, I, I you know, <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever you're going to request. I ain't going to get into your head because I don't know what it is. Now, I will say this, guys. I say you can graduate to the request of. Now, if she doesn't feel exactly comfortable doing certain things, you have to think about what you're asking her to do first. If it doesn't seem too outlandish in your mind, you know, maybe trying a new sexual position or some shit like that, then, you know, nine times out of ten, the apprehension will be minimal at best. And then she's, she'll always be willing to do something. Now, if you're talking about graduating to bringing somebody else into the bedroom with you, that's a conversation you have to have. You got to feel those conversations out, gentlemen. Again, you have to feel out those particular conversations. What do I mean by feel it out? Shit. If you and your girl are comfortable watching like porn and shit in front of each other, you know what I'm saying? You can ask her how she feels about it. If she ain't rocking with it like that, I wouldn't press it. If she ain't really vibing like that, I wouldn't really press it. You know, that's just something that is either going to be hit or miss, all right? If she wants to bring in a third party, it's got to be something that she's willing to do. I wouldn't press it and I wouldn't force it either because if you got to force it, she's going to start to get uncomfortable. And when she starts to get uncomfortable, well, guess what? Everything that you built over time is now going to fall apart, right? You got to understand this is, you got to, you got to be careful with how you introduce new things into the relationship. It always starts with comfortability. It always starts with how comfortable you make her feel, how secure you make her feel, how how she feels when she's around you. You got to know that she's going to be willing to do a lot for you. But there are certain things that they will not do. <laughs> you remember that song, I will do anything for love, but I won't do that. <laughs> right? Y'all remember that song? You may have those moments in your relationship, okay? You have to take what you can get. Not necessarily just taking it like crumbs or nothing like that. But if you know that you're pushing it towards something that may lead to some apprehension, you can introduce the thought of it. If it doesn't work, pull back. Don't even worry about it. If it doesn't work, pull back. If it doesn't work, pull back. Give it some time. Maybe you could try to attack it a different way the next time. If it doesn't work, don't go for a third time. I, I honestly I honestly say if it doesn't work the next time you try to introduce it, don't go for it a third time because then it's going to start to really make people uncomfortable. And again, you want your girl to be comfortable in your relationship. If she's if she's denied it twice, chances are a third time ain't going to work. And after that, it starts to become peer pressure. It starts to become pressure, you know, and that's not going to help you. It's not going to help you at all. Now, if your girl is into, you know, having people join y'all and stuff like that, and you kind of get that vibe from her, and she, while y'all sitting down watching the TV and whatnot, and she's like, oh, that girl's cute or some shit or whatever, I mean, maybe, just maybe, might be an opportunity for you to ask her how she feels about it. Don't say that's what you want to do, but ask her how she feel about it. See where her head is, all right? You got to see where her head is in reference to things like that. That doesn't come without any, uh, that's not going to come easy. You know what I'm saying? You got to know where her mind is on it before you figure out how to press forward with it. All right. If you want her to dress a certain kind of way, introduce new types of clothing into the relationship. See how she feels, man. See how she feels about wearing certain items that you think will be hella good looking on her. All right. Think about how she feels about certain things. Try to find a way to put it into the relationship or introduce it all right think about the things that you like find a way to introduce it just make sure she's comfortable first right make sure she's in a comfortable setting first i kind of feel like that's probably the best information that i could possibly give you without going into such detail about every single thing you need to do in this particular situation because doc's way of doing things may be different than the way you guys do things but one thing i want you to know wholeheartedly for sure this is where it starts right here if you get inside that mind and you can control the emotions of how she feels about you and things like that, she'll probably rarely say no to damn near anything that you ask for. The no's will be rare. I promise you. There will not be there will be little to there will be little to no apprehension 
as long as she knows that she's doing it for the person that loves her just as much as she loves you. And that is my best advice that I can give you as a foreigner on how to train a Filipina. You can call this a training video for dummies. But I feel like there's no better thing that you can actually do than get them comfortable. Get inside that mind. Figure out how she thinks. Figure out how she feels. Figure out how to make it work for the relationship moving forward. Again, make small incremental requests. See how she feels about those requests. If she jumps on those requests, those requests will become habits. After they become habits, they will become routine. <laughs> you know, and that's it. I know I didn't go into super detail, but I think that if you master that, there's very few things that will be impossible for you to, you know, introduce into your relationship. Again, you just got to figure out where her head is in reference to certain things before you introduce them. That's what I will say. It's not going to always just be comfortable because she's comfortable with you. All right. So if you found any value in this video. Drop a like on this video. Show some love to the good Doc, Dr. Mike TV in the bottom corner. There will be a little heart that says thank you. If you guys want to drop a thank you on this video, if you super chatted or whatever, I appreciate that. Um, And that's all I can give you right now. This is, video has been long enough. And I do believe that if you are able to master what you've learned in this video today, it will be awesome. But make sure you drop a comment and let me know what types of things you think foreigners would need in order to train their Filipina properly into the ways and the things that they like. All right? It's been a good doc, man. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc's on to the next one. Peace.